Ready. Now, today we're going to be making a belt buckle out of a piece of 5mm bar. So, currently I've got a piece of the fire already warming up. This is going to be for a two part project, so this is going to be the belt buckle and that part of the belt. So here we go. So, we're going to need the anvil, the hammer, the forge, basically the same things you're going to need for making the cloak pin, but in small stock. So, here we go. So, you want to throw it out, and then it down, because we're doing essentially the same process as we were doing while doing the cloak pin.
then yeah, I'm eventually I'm going to be doing a couple of bigger projects for you guys. No, not too cool. Um, to, now that I've got the second camera, I, I'm able to do the more multi-angle shots. And I've also now got the editing system, so I can actually now make some um, more interesting videos. Longer time making videos. Um, wouldn't mind making the, uh, the, the dagger uh, the, uh, the sucks for you guys as a, a project to show you guys what I can do. Cut it off, then follow the edges. So, 
back in a minute. I shouldn't have done that because I just put it between there. But yeah, put a little bit of a bend in it as well. So that way you can actually, where the leather can actually hook onto it. So yeah, so back in a minute. Alrighty, now we're at the vise. Let's see if this will actually focus. Nope, okay. Now we're at the vise where I got the cloak pin in. We'll measure by putting the over and allow for an extra couple of centimetres. Uh, not centimetres, a couple of mil past the point. So that would be about here. Now I'll move that out of the way. And then we'll just cut that through. Then from there, take that piece out, put this bit in, and we just want to take off the sharp edges off here. I'm using the fine tooth file at the moment, just enough to take the edges off. Make sure you check the edges, make sure there's not too sharp and pointy. Because you never know, it may, it may cut into you or your belt, so just be aware. So you just want to make sure it's nice and rounded. And then from here, where am I? We've got, let's see if I can find the right angle. Got the cloak pin and I can hear the other camera beeping at me. Now it's screaming at me. Uh, right, so here's the, the finished buckle. Well, from this, we're gonna be making the uh, the belt section to go with this. This will be another video later on during the summer season. Gives us something to play with while I'm not able to do any hot work. You can make these a bit more ornate by putting extra twists and stuff in them. But fairly, ba these are your basic ones, so that way you can actually make some quick and easy belts for your LARPing reenactment kind of stuff so but yeah and I'll see you on the other side I'll see you in the second part so don't forget to like subscribe and comment and see you on the other side catch you later